ever trip off what you're gonna say for your videos? Or are you ever camera shy because you don't know what you're gonna say? Or you just feel like you're gonna fumble every word whenever you try to talk? Bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. <sighs> Let me try this out. I think it's pretty dope. And, oh my God. Oh, wait, there's a tree branch. What's that called? but it, it does help. I'm using my iPhone 13 Max Pro, Pro Max. Here's a tip when you could, here's a tip to, here's a tip when you color grade your, to create the opportunities for, wait, what? Typically, I would, wait, what? And on my settings, I'm using, I love some things at home, so, blah, 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 blah. What's up everybody, it's Desiree LaCap, AK LaCapture, back on your screen with another tip and trick. In this video, we're gonna be DIYing our own teleprompter for under $10. Yes, under $10. Cause you know, sometimes maybe we don't even feel like buying an expensive or even an inexpensive teleprompter. So I promise you this will work just as good. I hope it will. I'm using it right now. All right, it's super simple, so let's get to it. The items you need may already be at your house, but if not, head to your local craft store or actually even Dollar Tree. That's where I ended up getting my things. What you'll need is a binder, preferably black. You'll need some binder clips, an eight by 11 frame, a box cutter or X-Acto, some black tape, and you're gonna need some chopsticks. And lastly, grab a random towel or shirt from your house. That will make sense later. So now that we have everything, we're gonna start with our frame. We just need the glass part basically. So be careful when removing the actual frame part. For our binder, let's remove the middle binding part, the clips, because we wanna easily be able to fold it and control it without having it lock in the middle. So what I use is I use some pliers and I gently kind of went in between the binder and the metal part, created some space, and just kind of ripped it out. This is probably the most tedious part of this entire process, but it's super easy. You just gotta be careful. So you'll need your X-Acto knife, the frame, a binder, and a pen or marker. So put the frame on top of your binder and then outline the frame. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the outline, but a little smaller just so the frame fits pretty snug. And then cut it on both sides, taking out the middle part, but also leaving kind of the hard edges between. You wanna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. This is a little bit messy, but it'll work out. It doesn't have to be perfect. So don't try to make it perfect because we are gonna tape it to clean it up a little bit. So now that you have your binder with the frame cut out, we're gonna go ahead and stick our frame inside. You might have to cut a little bit of edges, but it's okay because we're gonna tape it together again. Once you've done that, go ahead and tape the edges together, all four sides, just to make it look a little cleaner. The last step really is to place binder clips on all four corners of your binder this way. This is how you're gonna place your chopsticks. You're literally gonna put the ends of it. That's what's gonna hold the teleprompter up. And that's really it. Super easy, am I right? And I told you it would work just as good because I'm actually using it right now. Can you tell? All right, so the app that I'm using is this teleprompter app here. It is super easy to use. I have my script written here and there's settings that you could press here based on remote control. So I'm gonna mirror mine this way because when I do put it into the teleprompter, DIY teleprompter here, then it needs to be mirrored. And you could also adjust the speed of how fast it goes. So this is going pretty slow. So I'm just gonna adjust it to like 27, maybe 17 take its time here so yeah this is a pretty cool app i fumbled my words a lot so instead of fumbling my words i'm easily able to read the script clearly making it easier for me to edit the video together later on so if you guys enjoy the video or if you think you know someone who would want to try it out give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe for more filmmaking tips and tricks and hacks and make sure that you follow me on all my socials linked below. I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and the support, and I'll see y'all at the next video. Peace. 
Okay. <laughs> 